This week we're going to be carrying on talking about Jesus. We're going to learn about a lady who did something very kind to Jesus. She, she got some water from deep down in the well because Jesus was thirsty. This lady wasn't liked very much by her village, but Jesus cared for her and thought that she was special too. When this lady had talked to Jesus, she then went and told everybody about how special Jesus was. Let's find out all about this lady. Alice is going to tell us the story. Good morning children, it's Alice here from Swan Bank and we're already on week five of our Talking Jesus series. Now this week we're going to be looking at a very, very interesting story about a woman who met Jesus at a well. Jesus was really thirsty and he needed a drink. So I'm going to let a video clip play um, and then I'll be back shortly. Hey kids, have you ever wondered if you could make a mistake so big that God can never forgive you? Maybe like you tripped someone and they fell and broke their leg? Or maybe you decided you wanted something so bad that you stole it. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about a lady who made a lot of mistakes. But one day she met Jesus and everything changed. Jesus was tired and sat down at a well around lunchtime. Jesus had spent a ton of time traveling around and teaching people about the Bible. Along the way, he passed through a place named Samaria. When he got there, he was really tired, so he sat down next to a well so that he could rest and drink some water. A Samaritan woman came to the well and Jesus talked to her. When the woman came over to the well, Jesus asked her if she would give him some water to drink. Now that seems like a pretty normal thing to do, but there's something you should know about this situation. First of all, Jesus was a Jewish person. The Jewish people didn't usually talk to the Samaritan people because they didn't like each other. Second, women did not usually go to the well alone. In Jesus' day, all the women would go to the well together and hang out. Since the lady was alone, it was pretty clear to Jesus that she didn't have any friends. Now let's find out why. Jesus knew that she had done a lot of bad things. When Jesus and the lady started talking, he knew all the bad things she'd done. In fact, he listed off some of the bad things to her. And these weren't just little silly mistakes. They were really big mistakes that made people very angry at her. And that's why she didn't really have any friends. And Jesus knew all those bad things about her, but he still chose to talk to her. Here's why. Jesus wants a relationship with everyone, no matter what. No one else wanted to talk to that lady, but Jesus did. He still loved her and wanted her to know it. He told her all about how he was God and how he came to save the world. See kids, Jesus came to save people just like her that make a lot of mistakes. He isn't afraid of the things that we've done and he loves us no matter what. Memory verse. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. So, next time you feel guilty about something bad you did, like hurting someone or stealing, think of this story. No matter what you've done, Jesus loves you and forgives you and wants a relationship with you. You just have to ask. So I really hope you enjoyed watching that video and you're able to draw something from it. We've got to remember that back then, the Jews didn't speak to Samaritans, so the whole scenario was really strange and um, the woman was really shocked that Jesus wanted to speak to her. She knew she'd done lots and lots of bad things and that's why she was at the well alone. She hadn't got many friends. Usually, back then, women would go together and help each other, I guess, get the water out of the well, but Jesus was there and was simply ready to listen to her and to forgive her and to introduce her to the Holy Spirit, which I think is really, really exciting. After the woman had left from the well, she went out and told everybody about her encounter with Jesus. She was so, so excited. And I think when you have a, a relationship with Jesus, you're so excited to go and tell others. So I'm gonna set you a task this week, maybe this week at school or when you feel 
able to or prompted, you may want to introduce someone to Jesus or talk to them about what it's like to come to church or to watch our videos. I'd be really interested to see how many of you are able to go and talk about Jesus because it would be great to hear that. Thank you so much for listening to me and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi everybody. We're going to do our craft now. So I've got some paper. Mine's yellow, but you can use any colour. And some pens. That's all you're going to need. Unless if you've got some paint and some willing grown-ups, then you can use paint. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're thinking about the woman who Jesus spoke to and she went back to tell all of her family and everybody in her town all about Jesus. And so we're going to think about who we can tell about Jesus. So I need you to get your hand or if you've got a grown-up, it might work better with a bigger hand. I've got some quite big hands compared to children's hands. So if you've got a grown-up there, you can definitely borrow their hand too. So if you're using a pen, then take your pen and what we need to do is put our hand at the very bottom of our paper. So like this, so just our fingers are on the paper and spread out your hand as wide as you can. Okay, so I'm just drawing around mine. If you're using paint, then you can just do one handprint on there, like this. Can you see there? There's my hand. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture of ourselves right at the very bottom of your hand. So just in this little space here. So I'll draw myself. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a picture of me at the bottom. And now we've got five different waves coming off where I'm stood. So, although it does look a lot like a hand with the thumb and four fingers, we're going to imagine that these are all different paths we could go on. So, when we're thinking about who we could tell about Jesus, we need to think about the different places we can go. And think of these as the ways that you might go. So, I sometimes go to work, so I'm going to write work, and if you, if you want to, you can draw a picture. So, I'm guessing lots of you might be going to school. So, you can write school at the end of one of your fingers, or your thumb, and draw a picture. So, here's my school that I've drawn there. And although we can't go and see lots of people at the moment, we can still speak to them, can't we? So maybe you've got lots of family that you haven't seen in a long time, but you have been speaking to. So for this activity, we're going to draw them on here as well. So we've got people that we know at school, we can tell about Jesus. What about people in our family? You could write individual names or you can just write family and draw a picture of your family. So I've just drawn two people for my family and then you'll complete all of these things. So think about all the different people. Maybe you go to some clubs, maybe you go to the supermarket with your family and you can talk to people about Jesus there. Keep going until you're all filled in. So, is your picture all done? Here's mine. It's got lots of different people on. So now, what we're going to think about is how we can talk about Jesus to all of these different people. In our story, the lady who Jesus spoke to went back and told everybody she knew about Jesus. And we can do the same. So maybe you want to, on your picture, have a think about how you're going to talk to people about Jesus or when you might. And then, if, as if you, your person was walking, you can draw your lines up to all of the different places on your map. And 
and this is just representing that as we go to these different places with us so does God's story we've got so many opportunities to talk to people about Jesus and I wonder who you're going to speak to this week children we're going to talk to Jesus now you can do this by closing your eyes and putting your hands together you can just open your hands and just listen it's up to you you can say your own prayer but I'm going to say a prayer now to say thank you for what we've learnt today. Dear Lord, I just thank you for the things that we've learnt today. I thank you for that lady who was kind to Jesus and gave him water. And I thank you that Jesus, you gave her time and that you've always got time for us and that you care for us and that we're special. Help us to talk to our friends about you. Help us to know what to say and what to do. Keep us safe this week and we thank you for being our friend. Amen. Bye bye children. Have a great week.